Well, hello there. This is Milan here of Soul Natural Wellness and also of the Chic Women Don't Diet program. So in today's video, I wanted to talk to you about is your weight stopping you from living more freely? And that's a very timely subject today because since um, over the last four months, I have noticed that we have become a society of busier people. Now we were already busy and on average, all of us have 1,440 minutes per day and we've always had these minutes. But over the last four months, it seems as if we've gotten more busier. Have you noticed that? And trying to live life more freely has seemed to be an impossibility because this year has, I'm going to tell, I mean, this, this is just how I feel. I mean, everyone feels completely different about this, but this is how I feel right now. I feel that this year has just flown by and I was just talking to, about it with my client yesterday. I, we were saying how when we were in our teen years, life just went sort of slow. And even in my twenties, I remember just a slower pace of life. And then once I reached lately, just my fifties, it seems as if life has been passing me by just going fast. So this year has flown by almost as if we're on autopilot. And the pilot is moving in a way where you have no control over whatsoever. And right now, maybe you've found yourself, um, everything has seemed to take in first. Your career, um, you know, you're, you have more work on you, you're doing more. You're in front of um, your conference online more, more is demanded of you more time is expected of you. You're expected to perform differently. Uh, your family, because either your family is there with you, they're always around. Um, they want attention. Maybe if you have college children, your, your children are not, the school system is not quite like it was before. So there's a demand on your time. Um, other things, you know, just, you trying to create your own new normal has also taken some of your time. The 1,440 minutes that we used to have, now everything else has taken over that time. And that's why this year is going by so fast. So all of these things are taking your time. And this is really about you. This, this video is about you um, not allowing your weight to not let you live life more freely. So with all of this stuff trying to creep up, you know, things taking more time from you is affecting every other thing. It's affecting how you eat. It's affecting how you show up in life. It's affecting your ability to be more confident. Is All of this is adding more and compounding more to the weight gain. And it's so easy to happen. One minute you're one size, you're wearing your fabulous, amazing clothes in your closet. And then all of a sudden you look up and you're like, I don't know, a completely different size. You're almost like a body that you didn't even, you didn't even recognize anymore. I remember years ago, I was after my um, grandmother passed and that was really when my weight started to pick up and I had to get a control over that because I would see pictures and I'm like, who is that? I didn't even recognize, recognize myself in pictures anymore. So we're allowing so many things. We're allowing people, family responsibilities to take control of our time. So we're going to look at the top three habits that can take you um, to dropping the weight, to feeling more freely in your life. Okay. So the first one I really want to look at is something that's affecting all of us and that's stress. You know, I, I would love to see some comments at the bottom of my screen right now. Who is not experiencing stress from somewhere? Or better yet, who is experiencing stress from somewhere? Now, everything I just listed from family, career, work, children, um, yourself, your own expectations of yourself, all of that is stressful. 
I remember once sitting in the car and I almost had a meltdown. I was, I was beating myself up. I was just in this negative self-talk. Um, I was, you know, looking at myself thinking, you know, why don't I feel like I used to? I'm over 50. Why don't I feel like I did in my 20s? And all of this negative self-talk. And I said to myself, stop it. Just think for a moment. If you had a best friend and you and your best friend, and you know, all of us have one. Come on, really? <laughs> all of us have that one best friend. Um, and you're not just your husband, but you have your girlfriend who you just love her to pieces and she's like your sister. So imagine if once you were growing up together and you were always talking together and always doing things together. I mean, almost like every week or so, you were always on the phone chit chatting. Then all of a sudden, out of the blue, now you're an adult, she just stopped calling you. And you don't know why is it, you know, that she stopped calling you. So one day you could reconnect and you're thinking, you know, what's the problem? You know, why have we lost touch? And the first thing she says is, well, you were so negative. You were always negative to me. You are always putting me down. So I, I couldn't be around you anymore. Okay, so now let's flip that. So now you are your best friend. You are the most important person in your life. Are you putting yourself down? Are you doing a lot of negative self-talk? And as women, that's so easy. We do the whole compare game, comparing ourselves to other people, comparing ourselves to our old selves. Well, stop. Because if you want to live more freely and lose weight, you have to stop. Those are things that builds up stress and Right now, I want you to make your present tense a thing of the past. That means discovering your interpersonal communication. That means discovering what is your personal frustration. And it's really important right now because all of those things contribute to stress. All of those things, stress attaches to organs of certain or particular nerves in our body. And when that happens, it builds up it creates stress. It also creates belly bloat. It also creates weight gain. So we really, I really want you to remove that habit. So that is one, one habit to remove if you want to live life more freely and to lose weight. So let's move on to number two, because number one, all of us know about the adrenal, the stress gland, the, um, our hormone adrenaline and that particular hormone in itself, it releases, um, these hormones and it affects our heart. It affects our heart rate. It stimulates the liver and our nervous system. So you're going to gain weight as a result of all of that. So let's move into the second one because the second one is so important as well. The first one, keeping your stress levels under control in order to lose weight and also to live life more freely. But the third one is just as important I mean, excuse me, the second one is improving your digestion. Now, why is that important? Your digestive system is approximately 30 feet long. And when you look at your body from the outside, just looking at a picture of yourself or just looking, you don't even think about that. You don't think about that you have this digestive system that's approximately 30 feet long. And, and that's from your mouth all the way down to your anus. So it's really long because it's just curved and curved all the way up. So your digestive system being that long, that means that how you eat, I'm not going to say what you eat because what you eat is your preference. It's not my preference, but it's your preference. So how you eat is so important. The life cycles that your body goes through on any given day, your body go through three different cycles. So your body's on these three different cycles and these cycles, if you're not eating right and you're not eating, uh, if you're not eating at the right interval, then it's going to, to impact how you lose weight and the amount of weight that you lose. And we'll talk about that. We'll talk about that in another video about the hows and the three different cycles. We're not, that's, that's not for this video. That's for another video. So for this video, we're just talking about, um, is your weight, is your weight stopping you from living life more freely? So you have to take account of your digestive system and how and improving on that because when you're not improving on your digestion, what typically happens, and I notice this with a lot of clients and a lot of women that I talk to, they are 
die hard multitaskers. Do you ever find yourself just multitasking? I mean, everything. Do you ever find yourself not being present? And when you're not present and when you're multitasking and I've, I've had clients who I'm like, and I ask them how many windows, you know, how many tabs do you have open on your computer? Five, six, seven, eight. Some people are up to like eight, almost 10 tabs open. That's some serious multitasking. That multitasking is affecting so many other different things in your life and you don't even realize it. That multitasking, it affects your digestion. It affects your bowel habits. habits. It affects your stress levels. It affects so many things. So do you honestly think that you can live life more freely if you're multitasking in life? Because if you're multitasking for work, your career, you're multitasking everything else. Your interpersonal communication uh, uh, skills and just your way of being is affected. If you're not, if you are multitasking in so many other areas of your life, every relationship that you have is affected. So if that happens, you will not lose the weight and you will not live life more freely. So in order to do that, you must stop multitasking. Start to focus, and especially when you're eating, we can have so many different things on our plate at one time that your body doesn't know which way to go. Your body just doesn't know what to do. Your body doesn't know to, dig doesn't know to digest protein. It doesn't know which enzyme to kick in. And then all of a sudden it just stops. And then once it stops doing what it should be doing, I'm not saying that your body's not digesting because it is, your body's always digesting. But when you're mixing a lot of different foods at one time, your body cannot process all of these different foods at one time which is why you would get things like flatulation, you would get the heartburn, you would get the indigestion, you would get, um, you would get inflammation, in, inflammation in your intestinal tract or in your, your, your bowels. So it's so important to stop multitasking. Just focus on a few things, one to two, no more than three. But if you're eating on your plate, should not be a 50 different things. It shouldn't, it should be one to two, more so two items because you want the second one to complement that first one. So when that happens, um, when you're focusing on a lot of different things and your digestive system is impacted, your fecal, your intestinal tract becomes so impacted that the average human, and I'm not talking about a human who's sick or I'm, ta I'm not talking about someone who's not well, but a healthy human being can be carrying around uh, 10 to 25 pounds of impacted fecal matter. So if you're carrying around impacted fecal matter, your stomach is bloated. You have a belly and you try to figure out how can I get this off? Maybe if I eat more carrots, maybe if I eat more salads, maybe if I do more greens, maybe if I do more smoothies, that's not what's going to work. You have a unique biochemical individuality, and that's something I work with each of my clients on. And that allows you to see exactly what works for your body because everyone is, their uh, biochemical individuality is different. So what works for you will not work for the next woman. So let's get back to this subject about multitasking because making sure that um, your digestion is clean, your digestion is smooth, you're having good bowel habits, habits is very important. I mean, just to give you an example, if you're from the United States, then you, you're gonna know this person I'm about to mention. Um, but years ago, before my time, but I remember watching him on TV, um, John Wayne, the um, famous actor years ago, he, um, at his death, um, he was carrying around 40 pounds of impacted fecal matter. He was a tall man, but his stomach and his intestinal tract, and I'm not just saying his stomach poking out, um, but he was a tall guy, but he was carrying around all this, in, in fact, impacted fecal matter in his system. So the average human, the average normal, healthy, normal human can be walking around the exact same way. It's just a matter of, are you? So that in order to really live life more freely, to get control over how you're feeling, to really get control over losing weight, 
you have to analyze look at your stress levels and analyze them and bring them down and figure out what is causing you stress that could be a, a impacting your body um, to improve your digestive system to stop multitasking and then you can really start to live life more freely so right now I'm taking one-on-one -on -one clients and if you want to lose weight you want to understand what your unique biochemical individuality is and you want to feel more confident in your skin and get those 10 20 30 pounds off before the new year and I don't even I don't even want to put it on the new year because we always set these goals for January and they just never seem to happen you ever notice that we set these goals especially when it comes to our weight and come January we're excited we're ready to go and it doesn't happen it just we start we get going day 30 come February we fall off something happens uh, and we just never get to doing that again so I want to introduce you to an opportunity to allow your weight loss to be sustainable to allow your weight loss to be maintainable because once you understand your unique biochemical individuality once you understand what it is that puts weight on you how to get weight off the best exercises for you the best um, eating program for you then you can get the weight off and then you can live life more confidently confidently and then you can live life more freely and that will only happen at that point you can do all the dieting that you want to do in the world you can drink all the smoothies do all the fasts, do intermittent fasting but is it sustainable for you because if your work schedule change you start taking clients at different times of the day um, something happens in your life maybe there is a death in your family something that sets you back if you have the knowledge and the understanding of what works for your body then you're unstoppable you will rise to your next level you will always have that transformation you will always be at a point where if something happens you jump right back on and you know exactly what to do to get the weight off so that's my offer for you today um, I've included a link to my calendar and if you'd like to speak to me, I would love to speak with you as well. Um, and until our next time together, if you like this video, make sure you share it. Sharing is empowering someone else, right? So go on and share this video. You know, show me some love. Leave me some hearts. I would love to hear from you. So until our next time together, beautiful. Stay beautiful and healthy.